We're in uh, Calgary Varsity, Northwest, Alberta, Canada today. We thought we should show this briefly. Uh, this tower over here, it's the highest power output we've seen to date. It's got three new antennas. Uh, they're 5G, ultra high, 4G, and they're operating over 12,000 watts. Uh, 12,000. 412 and we'll put up the data there but what that's doing is giving the range of the frequency it's already high frequency operating at 3.5 gigahertz so let's just do a quick reading um, but this is the highest we've seen this is more than 12 times the power output so it's not only the frequency that's our message today it's the power output and this is a good example I'll just show you right here and then we'll zoom in to what I'm talking about and you see there I'm just going to zoom zoom it in a bit you see there hey eh, folks and we're pretty far away See that folks we're in an industrial residential area and that's a seniors home over there so this is what the frequency and power output are working hand in hand the power puts giving it more range and in this case there's three new antennas one of them is facing over here two of them are to the south and they're at 3.5 gigahertz you see that right there folks so I'll just zoom in there quickly to what I'm talking about and we'll put up some photos but this thing is loaded absolutely loaded up there and it's a and it's a good example of what we're dealing with I'll just move it a bit closer so you can see. I'll just get up to this muster point. But the readings don't lie. But this is what's happening. It's the frequency is increasing, but also the power output. And I'm pretty far away and look at the readings I'm getting you see right here folks it's all loaded up there all the way around and then some on this one right here but these people are going to get it the worst over here like they're right right parallel to it But it's another example of what we're talking about, but I was pretty shocked by the, the power output. It was like, uh, I'll put up the exact number, it was like 12,416 watts per antenna. And like I said, that's about 12 times what we've been seeing. So this is what's happening. It's not only the frequencies increasing, but also the power output, which is giving the frequency more distance to it. And we're anticipating this with the 5G as well because it has a shorter range it can go up to 2.4 kilometers so uh, 4G can go up to 24 kilometers so that's what we're dealing with folks so it is what it is I just thought you should be aware of this I want to wish you all a great weekend